In every family picture book, there are familiar lines and mostly forgotten faces filled with untold tales and best kept secrets. In the songbook of Nancy Griffith, every face is familiar. Every tale evokes the feeling of the family of man. The stories she tells whisper of the secrets best kept safe at home in our hearts and of the hopes and dreams that bind us all together. I think the songwriters that I admire the most are songwriters that have so much character that when you hear one of their songs, it may be the same three chords, but you know it's their song. It's amazing, and it's just that person is in that writing. It, you know, I had so many influences in such a diverse range of things. I don't think I had to wrestle them down to become Nancy Griffith, but I think I just threw them in the pan. You stir up Loretta Lynn, you stir up Woody Guthrie, and you stir up Buddy Holly and the Everly Brothers, and you put it all in this pot, and, you know, when you take a sip, it's Nancy Griffith. Ticket for the South and Plain. He's having here before somehow this doesn't feel the same. And talk is cheap, so we could talk all night long. We may never figure out just where love went wrong. And I don't want to be standing here and I don't want to be talking here and I don't really care who's to blame. Cause if love won't fly on its own freeway, who is gonna catch that? In this airport, no way, neither cares where the other heart is going. But if love won't fly on a tall green wheel, who's gonna catch that outbound lane? That brown you're wearing, sister, halo turned upside down. Where is laughter we once shared back in the lost and found? These broken wings. Of that lonely blame is flying out. I don't want to be standing here and I don't want to be talking here and I don't really care who's to blame. Cause if love won't fly on its own free will, it's gonna catch that outbound blame. Cause if love won't fly on its own free will, it's gonna catch that. If there were ever opposites, I would say, as far as writers, I would be the opposite of Kate Wolf. She always wrote of internal things. And in the last interview she gave of her life in 1986, she said she'd always wished that she could write fiction. But all she knew to write about was Kate Wolf. In the past, I always wrote fiction. And it was very important to me to write these three and a half minute short stories set to music. I mean, writing fiction to me is. It's so much easier a process than trying to write anything internal. Um, because it's just, it's so much easier always to live somebody else's life when you're writing um, than it is to live your own sometimes. The writer of this next song inspired my last album, Mother Voices Other Rooms, with her work and the fact that she was a, a guardian angel for me in her lifetime. And when she passed on, her music became a guardian angel for me as well. I send this song out respectfully to the memory of one of America's greatest folk treasures and songwriters. To Kate Wolf, save me a seat up at the bar someday across the Great Divide. I've been walking in my sleep, counting troubles. Instead of counting the sheep Where the east 
I can't say Well, I just turned around And they've gone away And I've been sifting Through the layers Of dusty boards And faded papers They tell stories I used to know it was one of heaven so long ago and it's gone away and yesterday now i find myself on the mountain side where the rivers change direction across a great divide now i But he's gone across the borderline. He's gone away yesterday. Now I find myself on the mountainside. It's where the rivers change direction across a great divide. Go on across, James. Finest hour I have seen is the one that comes between the edge of night and a bigger day. It's when the darkness rolls away and it's gone away. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. We're in Lucy's Record Shop in Nashville, Tennessee, because this represents the other side of Nashville that no one knows about. I started out my career on an indie label, which 15 years ago wasn't a cool thing to do. If you weren't on a major label, you didn't get heard of. But I was somewhere between country music and rock music and pop music and folk music, so I didn't have a category and couldn't get a major label deal. Nowadays, it seems like it's more hip to be on an indie label than it is to be on a major label, which is great. And the reason that Lucy's Record Shop is so important is because it, it represents to me where I came from and how I started out my musical career. And just because I didn't fit in the mainstream didn't mean that I couldn't create my own mainstream if I could do it on an indie label, which I did. God bless them. God bless Lucy's Record Shop, because that's how creativity and new forms of music start. It's how country music started, which was a lot of people who didn't fit in with the mainstream, who wrote great songs, played great instruments, did more than what was heard on the radio. And uh, so it's, it's kind of come full circle now. We have a whole new generation of people on indie labels that maybe you haven't heard of yet, but you will because they'll create their own market for what they do by being on these independent labels. This is Nashville, Tennessee, just as much as the Grand Ole Opry and Music Row and all those shops down on Music Row. This is Nashville as well. I'm a backseat driver from America They drive to the left on false road And the man at the wheel's name is Seamus We pass a child on the corner in the hall And Seamus says, no, what chance is that kid got? 
And I say from the back I don't know He says there's barbed wire at all of these exits And there ain't no place in Belfast for a child to go Cause it's a hard life, it's a hard life, it's a very hard life It's a hard life wherever you go And if we poison our children with hatred Then a hard life is all to tell no And there ain't no place in Belfast for a child to go Cafeteria line in Chicago The fat man in front of me Is calling black people trash to his children And he's the only trash here I see And I'm thinking this man wears a white coat In the night when his children should sleep But they'll slip to their windows and they'll see him And they'll think that white boy's all they need Cause it's a hard life, it's a hard life It's a very hard life It's a hard life wherever you're born And if we're boys and our children with nature Then a hard life is all that they'll know And there ain't no place in Chicago for those kids to go Hard life wherever they go. 